talking about Douglas Adams, uh, as many of you probably know, uh, Richard was close with, and he had these really entertaining books, The Goldilocks Planets. Light can, uh, mass cannot travel faster than light. How, do you think it will ever be possible since many of these Goldilocks planets are light years away? Do you think it will ever be possible to future generations to make it? I think that um, w if we ever discover life elsewhere, it will be much more likely to be by radio than by physical mm -hmm. visitation. Um, because radio waves travel at the speed of light, and mm -hmm. physical bodies, um, it's unlikely they can travel it anywhere near the speed of light. But um, So, no, I, I think it's very unlikely that, that, that we would be able to travel uh, further than the solar system. Mm -hmm. um, Unless something, unless something is very wrong with our present understanding of physics, which of course it may be, and, and that would be very exciting. Science fiction writers talk about hyperdrives and warp drives and, and, and things like that, um, and it, that would be very nice. But I think by I I standards of, of existing physics, I think many people don't realize quite how huge the distances are. There's a lovely illustration in a children's book, which, which I've used from time to time. And it's something that I think teachers can do with, with children. You get a soccer ball, and you put it in the middle of the, of the field, and you say, that's the sun. And then to scale, you've got to put in the other planets. And so you walk, I forget how far it is, it's 20 paces or something. And you put in a, a, a little pinhead to represent Earth. Um, and I think it might be a, pe a peppercorn or something like that. And then, a, and then about half an inch away, you put the moon, which is a, which is a pinhead. And then you walk about 100 yards, and you put a ping pong ball, which is Jupiter. And you, you go on like, like that for the, for, the, for the solar system. You get an idea of these little objects um, spaced out across a, across a football pitch. Now, the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, pick up another soccer ball and walk 2,000 miles. <laughs> and that's the nearest star within our own, within our own galaxy. There aren't any others nearer than that. Um, so I imagine you know how long it takes for a spacecraft to get to Pluto. Could be it's just, it's just it's done it. It's the outer reaches of our solar system. Um, to get to the nearest star, um, it's, 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 it's just I think it's, 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 it's 1,200 1, light years. Oh, what? <laughs> but Richard, bring this full, full circle. If they did find life on one of the Goldilocks planets, wouldn't it prove that there is not a god? No. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, wouldn't it support a lot of your work on on atheism, basically, of the creation of the Earth and life here, oh, etc. Yes, I mean it would it would disprove the, the narrow, parochial, Correct. Little, little little petty little thing we got in the Bible, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, but I mean, the, 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 if, if there were a God who wanted to create life, one might say, mm -hmm. why would he only create it on one planet if, mm -hmm. he's, if he's got the urge to create life? Why wouldn't he put it put it mm -hmm. everywhere? By the way, if, if bacterial life was found on Mars, you'd have to look at it very carefully to make sure it wasn't contamination. Uh, because, um, and you, what you do is look at the, look at the genetic code. Um, if it's got DNA, especially if it's got DNA, we're using the same uh, triplet code, 64 triplet code, um, that would almost certainly mean, indeed, I'll leave out the almost, that would certainly mean um, that it's cross-contamination. And that's not impossible because we know that there are some meteorites that have landed on Earth which came from Mars. They're moon rock that have, that have been blasted out of Mars, probably by impact collisions, big, 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 big bolides. Um, and they've hurtled around and finally ended up on Earth. And we know that from the chemical composition of these meteorites. So, so that would mean that, that, that it wouldn't be totally impossible for bacterial cross-contamination.